hello guys uh, I have iPhone 7 which is completely dead so this one here so for me the easier iPhones or any phone to fix are those which has got uh, input short very easy to fix but there are some which are pain in the butt so this one is uh, as you can see this is no input shot as you can see here so as soon as we turn it on see that's high current drawing whereas the normal it should start from maybe 200 milliamp and then go up 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 and one end so this one might be difficult might be easy because there is something wrong on um, output so I will remove the board Okay, now let's check. I will turn on the microscope. Alright, so we did I put the tweezer here? Not a good tweezer, I will get another one. We'll make a little bit bigger. It can't be VDD main because it's not input. Okay. Here looks okay. Let's remove these stickers. I'm actually tired not doing difficult repairs. I want something which is easy to fix. So easy I see a part somewhere and I just remove it and it starts working. Obviously nothing here. What we should do? Okay, now I think we should try thermal chem. 
the board is under thermal cam now and I have attached the power button <coughs> here and I will turn it on now yes here okay <laughs> looks like it's a uh, PMU see hmm. it's getting very hot as you can see it's to 60 60 okay let's just move other side yeah other side is and um, I can see there is a lot of okay let's turn it off and turn it on now it's a big shot so I think what we should do next I think the next we should do is to remove the metal sheet shield of the processor maybe we can find something which is physical or we'll go from there David is it my phone no, sir. okay Honestly speaking, if it came out to be PMU or CPU, <coughs> I'm definitely not going to do it because for me it's not worth it. But if it came out to be data recovery job and the customer is happy to pay and then maybe we will see now let's check what we have here anything anything show me something man this is usually this area no should I run a freeze spray test here? I think I should. Let's try on PMU side. So does this freeze spray, does it create short itself by itself as well? Because the chemical formula for ice Come on, come on, it's again came as a PMU. Okay, let's try again. give me something somewhere oh come on this man this is okay now what we're gonna do now we will manually find out if we find any power rail is shorted Okay, let's check again. I don't think there will be a shot anywhere else here. 
both parts are then. Could be the screen. Yeah, the screen, but the screen was, this is new screen. Um, because this is already demand, I don't think there will be a. Turn it up and fiddled around a little bit more, and then turned on, like the screen turned on stuff. She was like, oh, maybe it's just like has it got enough power? I'm expecting it. shots somewhere here. Yeah. Um, so we plugged it in and rebooted, and then I think you just like put the screen down properly and it would reboot again or something. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Um, if just the screen will cost you a hundred dollars. Yeah, he said that um, he's got enough to visit out yeah. and he has diagnosed it. But now here, first of all we will look. <coughs> what these gaps are? So these are we were here. So this is PPSOC VAR. And as you yes. can see, yes. Yes. one is to PMU yeah. and most of them to the uh, CPU. Yeah. Uh, so the next thing is, what I would like to do for a last resort is... Because... Um, this is uh, very low resist. It should not be as low resist as it is because this is is ground, and this is resistance is only dropping down to 2.1, 1.9. 1 so this is a sure shot here. So I'm going to apply some amps here. So because these videos uh, which we share with each other is just to share our information to the other people. So no one has got 100% um, perfect knowledge, you know. So, so why I think because uh, we all know that uh, PMU and the processor, they they generate uh, low resistance to ground in that case if you are confused so what you can do why i'm quite sure so i will show you what is the resistance value i'm getting so you will see on the multimeter so so because you see a little bit of black here because we were applying some amps here i will show you that as well what we got once we applied the so anyway, so this is ground. Is it on the? I will put it on the resistance mode. Okay. So see, there's ground. So that's all good. But when you go here, see it's showing 1.6. And let's because this is on the same line. so see this is uh, on the line which is it is showing very low resistance whereas if i'm getting a working board where is my working board so this is sometimes how you can compare if you have got the so this is a working board so if i compare the same resistance on the same cap which is this guy here what we're getting this is ground side so and this is you will read do you see the resistance is 10.2 10.1 whereas whereas the resistance we are getting is um, quite low so that is a sure and it's all indicating towards processor most probably processor is shorted let's try one more time because uh, before we were trying just turning it on let's try now on the same line where we have got the short <coughs> so we put the uh, uh, sorry board under the thermal film again and now we're gonna apply the direct some amps there as you can see so heat is coming from the other side 
from the processor side. So this is I'm quite sure it is the processor but I will just have a look on one more thing here. very tight space So what do you think guys, is it really really the processor is shorted or am I missing something? So there is a tiny guy here underneath here I don't want to take that tiny guy see I can see now so that's enough now I will get another plunger and I'll just pull them out I'm so much afraid of going close to the processor. Okay. Okay, we will just give it two minutes so that it cools down. So board is uh, now cooled down. Now let's do something which make little bit of sense for me. Do you see? So this is the processor side line. Okay. Do you see? And see the resistance is how low is the resistance is. And if we go other side, it's all good. Do you see? So that also confirms that is processor is shorted. So this is not an um, economical repair because uh, there is um, the um, repair cost here in New Zealand on this sort is as much as buying another iPhone 7 so we're not gonna recommend the customer to get it fixed but if data is important that is where we can we will fix it. So thank you very much for watching guys. See you in next video. Bye.